Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today I got a couple emails from my students saying that they needed help on our day 13 math packet. So today I'm just gonna walk you through exactly what we're doing in our day 13 math packet. It's gonna go over operations, our keywords for our addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we're also going to be going over expressions. All right, so let's get to it. So first we're talking about Tracy bought three magnets and then Scott has two times as many. So this keyword here, times as many, means that we are talking about multiplication. So if Tracy has three magnets, uh, so one, two, three. Scott, he has two times as many. So that means he has one, two, three. just as much as Tracy, but then two times, do it again. There you go. So how much does Scott have? He has six because that is twice as many as Tracy. But then, keyword then, then Scott buys one more. Okay, keyword more. So I'm gonna have the six and I'm going to add one more because he bought one more. So now how many Scott, how many magnets does Scott have? Scott has, Scott has seven magnets. Let's go on to the next one. The four operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. An expression is a number or a combination of numbers and operations. An expression does not have an equal sign. Use the numbers and operations to write each phrase as an expression. So this one can be a little tricky. Four more than seven. We're just gonna break it down. I see four and seven. Our key word here is going to be more. So I'm just gonna write it. So I have four more than, that means we're gonna be adding four more than seven. That's what that would be. The total of five rows of six chairs. So let's think of this as an array. So first it says the total of, so that just means equal. We're gonna to have to solve this, okay? Of five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Of six chairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You would fill in that array, but remember we solve that by doing multiplication. Because with this array, it makes it really easy for us to just see this number, which is six, times the five going down. And this little corner where they meet is multiplication, okay? So you would fill in this array in order to find the total. You need to have the total in order to have your answer. So the difference. So think of what just this keyword difference means. The difference between 89 and 80. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take these numbers, 89 and 80. To find the difference, we're just going to subtract. Difference means subtract. Number four, four people equally divide 21. So this one tells you right here what we're doing. Divide $21. So since this is our big number, division, we have to start with that. So 21, $21, and we're going to divide that equally among three people. For these ones, I did write the operation. This one, I want you to come up with the actual phrase. So for example, this was four plus seven, 89 minus 80, 21 divided by three. So what would this one be? Okay, there are six nails in the toolbox. Write an expression to tell how many there will be when there are two fewer nails. Okay, so first of all, this, we're all starting with six nails in the toolbox. So go ahead and start with six. Then we're ma mainly just paying attention to those keywords. So I see fewer is our keyword and fewer means subtraction. And then our main number here is two. So six minus two. For this one, I see four. Our keyword here is times as many and then nails. So again, I'm gonna start with six because that's what it said that we're starting with. So I'm gonna start with six and then we're doing times as many, so we're doing times. And then four. Write an expression for each, the cost of five bottles of glue. So I'm going to first come over and look at glue and I see that glue is 10 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 10 cents. If you haven't seen my YouTube video, I made a YouTube video on how to add money and cents and everything. So 10 cents and we're looking for five glue bottles. That would mean we'd have to do times. 
or we could do repeated addition if you want to say, okay, we have 10 cents, so that's the same as if we do 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, five times. Number eight, the number of nails for 90 cents. So this one's a little trickier. This one's a little more um, division. So I'm looking for nails and there's going to be 90 cents. So I'm going to start with 90 because that's the big number, 90 cents. And I'm going to be dividing because that means these are going to be equal. So let's look for nails, okay? I see nails right here. Nails are also 10 cents. So if they're each 10 cents, I'm going to be dividing by that 10 cents. Okay, because I have 90 in total. Each uh, number of nails is 10 cents. So how many times does 10 go into 90? Go ahead and count by tens to find that out. And again, go ahead and just write the cents sign at the end. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope your distance learning is going well. Remember, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at bloomingwithmissb at gmail.com. I'll see you soon.